I've been asked to explain in my own words what it means to use a whole-brained approach in your life, in your business, in the marketplace, and in your relationships, maybe in every aspect of life. The human brain is divided into two hemispheres. The left hemisphere typically deals with math, science, analytical thinking, cognitive reasoning, and people who are left brain dominant tend to be drawn into occupations where they use those types of thought processes and skill sets. The right hemisphere of the brain deals more with emotion and feeling and creativity and imagination and speaking. The right brain dominant people have a tendency to go into fields such as entertainment, the arts, sculpting, poetry, writing. In fact, one of the, the charges waged against left brain dominant people by disgruntled uh, spouses is they'll say something to this effect. You're just so distant and I have such a difficult time communicating with you because you seem to be lacking feeling or you're lacking emotion. Those are sort of the common complaints that you hear about left brain dominant people. On the other spectrum, the complaints about right brain dominant people tend to be you're overly emotional, you don't think things through, you're not uh, taking a look at the math or the science and you're just kind of making it up as you go along and it's all about feeling. So that kind of gives you a little bit of a background on left brain, right brain. The reality is that human beings are complex creatures and all of us, uh, except for those who have had a lobotomy or some type of uh, significant brain damage, have both hemispheres of the brain and they operate and they function in varying degrees, but we do tend to be left brain or right brain dominant. If what we want is to optimize our results, it makes sense that we would use a whole brain form of thinking. We would use the right hemisphere of our brain to understand the why, the W-H-Y. Why are we doing something? Why are we contemplating doing something? Why do we want to invent something? Why do we want to change something? Why do we want a different result? And then over here with the left brain, we're dealing with the how. How do we go about doing it? What does the math look like? How risky is it? How much is it going to cost? How long is it going to take? What are the specific details that need to be understood and implemented in order to make what we want actually happen? When you take the left hemisphere issues and the right hemisphere issues and you bring them together, you combine the how with the why, and now all of a sudden you have the ability to optimize your results. Sometimes we want to go even further than whole brain. If we want to do this, we can use a spiritual approach to what we're doing. So we're combining not only the left hemisphere of the brain and the right hemisphere of the brain, but this sense of inner self and perhaps even divine connection so that we receive inspiration and guidance and wisdom from a source or a power that is deeper or bigger than that which we're able to hold in our conscious mind. When we add this sense of spirituality to what we're doing, this divine intervention, this divine inspiration, then we're activating a whole being or the essence of who we are in our complete and total sense of self. When you do this, you're able to operate and function at a level that transcends human understanding to envision that which would be invisible to you in a normal human state and to imagine or invent new ideas, new ways of doing things, and new outcomes that would be impossible for you or invisible to you if you were simply operating in your normal sense of consciousness.